genetics. Genetics can be complicated to learn, but also a lot of fun. We'll start looking at the overall pieces important to understanding genetics before jumping into specifics. Let's start with something you probably heard of, DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and is like the instruction manual for your body. DNA is in the nucleus of every cell in your body. It has two sides twisted into a double helix shape. Taking an even closer look, DNA is made up of nucleotides. Nucleotides have three main parts, a phosphate, a five carbon sugar called deoxyribose, and a nitrogen base. There are four types of nitrogen bases, A, T, G, and C. A always pairs up with T, and G always pairs up with C. These attractions between bases are what helps form the double helix shape of DNA. The order of the A, T, G, and C bases on the strand of DNA create the instructions for the body, just like the combinations of letters in the alphabet create words, sentences, and books. We call segments of DNA genes. Genes are units of instructions that create different characteristics we pass down to our children, such as curly hair, left or right handedness, dimples, length of fingers and toes, as well as disorders like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia. DNA contains lots of genes on a single strand. A strand of DNA is twisted and compacted to take up less space in the cell and we call it a chromosome. The number of chromosomes depends on the organism. Humans have 46 chromosomes. Fruit flies have four. A potato, 48. And dogs, 78. All 46 of our chromosomes are in every one of our cells. Often, chromosomes are in pairs, which are similar to each other. This is the case with humans. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Pairs will carry the same genes, just possibly in alternate forms. These alternate forms of genes are called alleles. For example, looking at a pair of chromosomes, you might have the gene to be right-handed on one, but the gene to be left-handed on the other. In coming videos, we will look into how you can have multiple alleles, but only show one characteristic, as well as how chromosomes replicate, calculating the likelihood of having a child with a certain characteristic, and just dive into genetics.